Chicago Public Schools just hired 200 additional custodians to clean schools. But activists say it's not enough and dirty schools are putting students at risk. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is there where they plan to hold a news conference to highlight all of the problems there. Hey, Mike. Hi, and that news conference set to get underway at 8 o'clock this morning, and it will feature activists dressed in hazmat suits. Their goal to highlight conditions that they say are, in some cases, downright dangerous. Conditions like these found at Mollison Elementary School late last year. That's where a rodent infestation forced many kids to stay home from school. Mouse droppings and insects were found to be widespread in that Bronzeville school. And Chicago Teachers Union officials say they don't believe conditions have gotten much better all across the system. That's that's why they're calling on the city to stop privatizing janitorial work, which they say has left the city with a shortage of at least 500 custodians. They also want state lawmakers to reinstate the union's right to bargain over non-monetary issues like cleanliness. Now, just yesterday, the city announced that it would spend $7 million to hire some 200 janitors over the summer. 100 of those positions would become permanent. The union says the 11th hour move was an attempt by the city to avoid a call for a strike. Reporting live in Kenwood, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa? All right, Mike, thank you.